The worst gotcha game failures. I've been in this space for a long time. I think I've been playing gotcha games for well over 14 years, or at least gotcha games before people knew what gotcha games were. The worst failures of all time? All right, let's see it. I'm a dozen. Whether it's a AAA company or indie developer, we constantly have new games releasing, many of which are terrible. True. With gotcha games, it's even worse, with an extra layer of live service and gambling baked into each one of these, and when one of them shuts down- Yeah, and fun being paywalled for $19.99, it's rough. All your money and time goes poof in an instant. I've played plenty of good games and bad ones, but there are ones that are so bad that they should be used as a lesson on how not to run a game True. at all. Today we're going to go over three massive gotcha game failures. Why these specifically? Because each failed spectacularly in a different way and have pretty funny stories. Wow, also, a different if you enjoyed this type terrible. of video, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll be making more. Idols. You know what they should have done? They should have released bikini skins. It is very hard to have your game end of service if you have bikini skins unless your game is doing bad and their tits are already out which means man that game must have sucked balls you love them, I love them, we all love idols. Idol culture is a huge deal in Japan and has basically become a cult. Scene show yeah, I'm gonna be real, I don't give a fuck about idol culture. I think this shit is lame as fuck. ...in the anime Oshinoko aren't too far off of what actual fans will act like and the devotion or worship some of the people have. There's all sorts of stalking issues and idols can't be in any sort of relationships either. Recently, an idol named- No, no, no. They can be in a relationship, they just have to be in a private relationship. Because other people, otherwise people get mad weird about it. It's like being in a relationship and having an OnlyFans. You will lose 40% sales no matter what. Momoko Tojo posted a picture of her celebrating her 20th birthday with a young male, celebrating with her who was most likely her boyfriend. As punishment, she was forced by her company to post a goodnight video of her alone every night for the next year to make up for her sins. Momoko, if you're held against your will, then in tonight's photo, please post a picture of you watching this video. Please notice me, Momoko. <laughs> if you think K-pop Twitter fans are fuck? bad, will these idol fans actually go outside? Which I'm unsure if that's actually better or worse for the rest of us. It's I distinctly worse. remember walking around Akihabara in Tokyo, middle of the day, when people were supposed to be at work, and seeing fully suited up Japanese businessmen with briefcases roaming around the third floor of a store where the only product was pictures of idols in different outfits and that's purchases. So Oh, fucking weird. Up inspecting each of these cards like it was I can't wait to go to Japan. In February, I'm going for one month. I already have this whole thing planned out. I am so worried that this shit is going to be weird as fuck and I'm going to fit right in and never come back. It was an archaeological dig site and they held a relic. But like, what do you even do with these cards? Use them in battle? Well, eventually two huge franchises popped up in anime idol culture, which are Love Live uh -huh. and Idol Master. Today we'll be talking about a game under the umbrella of Love Live, namely a game called Love Live School Idol Festival 2 Miracle Live. It just rolls right Wait, off Sophia the Sophia loved this game. Already to a great start. This franchise what had happened? plenty of games in the past and fans Sophia are always looking for something of dollars new. On January 24th, this tweet released saying, We are excited to break the news to you that the global version of Love Live School Idol Festival 2 Miracle Live is launching soon in February 2024. Finally, okay. a new Love Live game. Let me just go get my wallet real quick. However, we also want to inform you that the global version will close its doors on May 31st, 2024 and cease in-app purchases accordingly. Why? I have never in my entire life seen a game announce its release and shut down in the what same the exact heck? post. Why? I didn't even have a chance to see if it would survive. The game was basically aborted. And what do they mean in-app purchases? Who the hell is gonna spend money on a game that isn't even gonna survive a few months? These people, these guys right here. I don't know who they are, but man, they were really desperate for this game. God have mercy on their souls. Maybe they just no. didn't know it was gonna be shut down? I lie awake at night wondering why they even spent a dime on this game. Did they charge back their credit That's card? That's so this fucking game actually sad. had purchases enabled a until the little in the end of final I've minute never of seen the that. game. Which is insane to me how it could try to be that big of a cash grab. Is that even legal? Well, the game was basically just a rhythm game where you could pull your favorite 
favorite love live characters and use them in your roster. But realistically, the characters didn't really matter too much since there was a mostly skill-based game anyways. Fun. There isn't really too much to speak on the game since it lasted so little time, but what's weird is why they even end of service some of the other love live games to prepare for this one, so what's going on here? And why is this game even a gotcha anyways? Sophia, this if this is a game that you played, you can be real quick. Metal fans are willing to buy anything for their Oshi, so it's surprising that this game didn't even try but just died like a fish on land. Next is a game from an incredibly notorious franchise, the Taimonen series. Originally it's starting Taimonen. as a Japanese era guy, the Taimonen series had a lot of games over the years. And this is the game that I had to close my eyes and imagine in order to come when I lost my virginity. This was a good ass game. Yo, <laughs> random question. Was that the game that you played that ended service? Yeah. Did you spend money on it? On the first game, that was the second game that you were just looking at. Come closer. So you didn't play the second game? I did play the second game, but I didn't spend any money on it. Did you know it was end of servicing the moment you tried it? Yeah. Why did it end of service? I don't know. Oh, I think because it failed in Japan. Wasn't it like your favorite game of all time? It was one of my favorite games. It was really fun. A lot of money into that game. How much did you spend on the first game? I think it was only like 800. Only 800. <laughs> oh, okay. Like over the course of like five years, I feel like that's not too bad. Oh yeah, only $800. I feel like that's not too bad. Only $800 on a free game. <laughs> Yeah, it's not bad. No, it's oh, fine. Of course, of like eight years. Eight years, so it's grown grown I mean, from five, five, five to eight. Five years. Five years. You're intentionally five, trying five, to downplay listen, it. Listen, no, because I got confused because eight hundred, eight years, five, eight. You know. I bet you spent well over three grand. No, dude, I was a fucking minor. <laughs> Do you like cupcakes? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Okay, so. What, why was the game so special to you? Why did you spend uh, the, the price of a loan on a small car? Because it was fun. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm sorry that game's dead. Even anime adaptations. Its popularity mostly comes from, well, it's... It's giant... T the story yes, is about anti-demon ninjas tasked with slaying criminal demons and eliminating dangerous Bro, the main two chicks, anime purple hair girl and orange hair girl, man, they had some wild experiences. As a hentai so well, maybe this isn't so bad. In fact, this series pioneered a genius idea. In most live service games, you log in to collect gems or whatever currency you use to pull. I, so I believe there's a happy ending and there's a sad ending. I think one of the sad endings is that they die after being fucked by a bunch of demons. But there's also a happy ending where like they like decapitate everybody and win, I'm pretty sure. Your account, you know, the usual. In Taimon and Asagi Battle Arena, they went for the opposite. They added a special NTR login bonus. Yeah! If you don't log in, you get cucked, and your wife was stolen by the nice looking gentleman in the back. So yeah, it's awesome. A reward, I suppose a punishment would make you want to log in more. However, yeah. this isn't even the right Taimon and game I wanted to talk about. No, the real incident occurred in a game called Taimon and RPG X. Ecstasy. I made a video over a month ago about a hentai PvP game that I quite enjoy and think is good. However, this situation is much the opposite. Originally released in 2018 in Japan, they decided to release the Ecstasy version globally in 2023, five whole years later, which what? I mean, damn, by that point, does anyone even care? Who Fuck no. Five years for this game. Regardless, the game released and it's a turn-based- Dude, five years in internet time might as well be 2,000 years in real time. They're just, nobody fucking cares. RPG with gearing and character formations, not really anything super special. I can't believe Honkai Star all copied this game. But here's yeah, what's true. the game's monetization. First of all, uh, the game's pity was 300 pulls, that's which fucking is nuts. insane. However, it did- Well, it really depends, right? It depends on how much each poll costs. You can't just say, oh, it was 300 pulls. It's like, okay, like for example, if pity was 10,000 pulls, but every poll was free, it wouldn't matter. Right, so how much does that cost? Have mileage rewards in between, but that's still crazy. Then it had a battle pass. I mean, of course it did. At this point, it's fairly standard, right? But then it also had a VIP system which needs real money to level up and gives perks. So far, doesn't really look that amazing. In that's terms retarded. Of monetization, but hey, maybe the game's actually pretty generous. As you increase bond level with characters, Holy you can get shit, I want to be that sword. for level four or a thousand for level five. And since a 10 pull only costs 500 crystals, we can get a decent amount of pull and they devs nerfed it yep that's right the devs accidentally gave too many rewards out for gaining bond with characters and reduced it to about one fourth oh of what my it god All right. i mean this is obviously really bad but maybe we can solve this that's problem. insane and it would put you in the negatives no way 
interest in other ways. I can probably save up enough jet. Oh no. Turns out that they not only nerfed the gem amounts, also retroactively took back gems, meaning if you already used them to pull, you now have a negative balance of currency. Oh my god! In debt, and the Timon and police are knocking on your door. People were literally. They put people in debt? Thousands of gems in debt, which is hundreds of dollars minimum. And who's gonna slave away grinding for that or pay the company? This was all only a week after oh, the hell no. as well. Would you rather A, spend weeks grinding out the currency, Quit B, immediately. spend your paycheck on the gems, or C, uninstall the Uninstall game. that Actually, shit, bro. Almost everybody quit the game and it ended service about seven months after launch, which is <laughs> crazy that it actually lasted that long. I guess if you think That's about it, psychotic, bro. games recently have lasted even less time than this scummy game. So I guess as gotcha players' brains 58 have players, man, that's so sad. This game's insane mismanagement immediately killed it. However, the Japanese server is still alive, so it shows how a publisher can easily kill a game. They even put out this wonderful picture. I don't know who in their right mind wants to pull for pregnant women. Make sure to celebrate Pregnancy Awareness Month, so uh... Glad the game's healthy, I guess? Finally, let's talk about the third game. In a lot of ways, I might consider this one to be the worst. Why? Because I really, really hate IP-based gotcha games. Sam, they're An terrible. existing property morphed into a game to feed off it's your so love bad. for a series. I'm sure many of us have heard of One Punch Man, the anime about a man who has reached the pinnacle of baldness. And I guess he hits pretty- Me, baby. Being bald is the best thing that ever happened to me. It is, it is the best thing. Bald is beautiful, baby. Be hard too. And overall, you have not had sex with a man until you've had sex with a bald man. The shit that we can do with our head is unlike anything you've ever experienced. Really love series with fun action, good humor. So of course, since at least one person would probably spend money on this, a Japanese company said, let's make this into a live service gotcha game, which at a surface level looks like a decent game. But let's quickly talk about how this game already oh, had God. one foot in the grave before it launched. Crunchyroll, the publisher, has become fairly notorious in the gacha industry and has published a few gacha games previously, but an oh, important God. one was a game called Princess Connect Redive. Oh, stop. This game was fairly popular in Japan, and many players were excited for it in the West. It yep. lasted around two years here before it shut down, which is a decent amount of time for a gacha game. But here's the strange part. It made no sense why the game was shut down. The game was reportedly still doing well and making money at least a million per month yep. and had a fairly player base. Hell, even today the game is still updated in Japan and doing fine, but it was shut down completely out of nowhere. Yep. All the player's progress and time went poof and got Thanos snapped. They barely had any time to say goodbye, truly. Needless to say, Damn. the players were pissed. Imagine if your favorite game suddenly called End of Service out of nowhere. Yeah, imagine if Hawkeye totally Star End of Service. feel kind of wronged as well, right? And then the game won I would be furious. world release, published by Crunchyroll. So already, many potential players were wary without even trying it. Next, let's get into the game. First, it's an IP-based gotcha game, which yep. almost guarantees it's garbage when you True. see the literal hundreds of slop IP. Because if the game was good, they wouldn't have to rely on an IP to make it better. I, I 1 million percent agree. It's like, for example, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan. We all know that game's shit, and it would have 0% popularity if it wasn't Dragon Ball Z. You replace those with original characters, nobody plays the game, everybody fucking knows it. IP gotcha games that release every year. IP-based gotchas survive on their IP. That's the entire point of their existence. They don't need to make an original world or character. That's how great of a series Dragon Ball is, that it can carry an entire in shit case, game. The just with Punch the Man. skins you of Dragon Ball. You probably assume that you either play as the main character Saitama, maybe Genos, or maybe you make your own character and you roam around the world. Nope. The story mainly follows Lightning Max. That's like if you play what? Dragon Ball Z Sparking Zero and the only storyline and playable character you could play as, oh, Yamcha. No. Okay. So I would be down for that because I fucking love Yamcha and I love rooting for an underdog and he got cucked hard. I would actually play the fuck out. There's also, there's also a story, I believe, where Yamcha is the main character and it's really good. The game itself is actually all right for a mobile game. It's action combat where you play as one character with a party of allies. You have basic attack skills, ults, dodges, nothing crazy, but it's fine. Now for the overworld, this game is literally just a copy of Yakuza series, having Kiryu walking around Japan, going into stores, buying food, mini games, and talking to people. They even that actually doesn't an sound too bad. Game from Yakuza Like a Dragon in the movie theater, which is like, you really thought that no one would notice this? But let's get <laughs> to the real meat and potatoes of this entire situation. 
the monetization man there what? is so much to say about this first so much to say and so much to spend holy tits of 0.6 percent with a garbage 50 Hello? 50 chance of getting the character you want amazing sounds However, it's some just like it's worse because if you lose your 50 50 on the banner and are now guaranteed the banner character on the next five star this doesn't carry over to the next banner so somehow losing the 50 50 is even more punishing you can literally lose a 50 50 oh my God. two banners in a row without getting either character that you wanted that's now, fucking let's talk foul about something even worse the re-rolling that is so game. fucking foul because it's just criminal like, there should be a law against this. Some gacha games let you reroll easily, while others make it a bit harder and you'd have to delete your data and restart everything again or have a long tutorial. I can't. One I can't harder. One world made rerolling Hello, bannable, mother. and your device would be unable to play the game if you dared to try and get a remotely decent start. However, thankfully, our generous overlord also created an in-game reroll system that you can buy for real money, and it's not unlimited. This is actual mustache twirling villain behavior the previous two games made terrible mistakes don't get me wrong but this was literally just planned this way they intentionally made the monetization of this game this bad and now let's get to one of the worst crimes of the entire game look at this game's revenue they oh my god princess connect redive for making over a million dollars a month but this game is still up there are people watching this video that make more money than this whole gotcha game they could <laughs> overfund the whole game hey, my month. look at this amount who is even funding the game at this point that's These psychotic dude i need to make a gotcha game it would be so good for different reasons but we all know that the end reason was greed hopefully games like this will eventually lead to less scummy practices among gacha games or at least be a lesson that you need to put in a little bit more effort to scam us gacha brained individuals but let's be real probably not i hope you enjoyed this video thanks a bunch for watching subscribe Dude, to the channel if you liked it genizard's content has been fucking fire it's so goddamn good dude please do more of these man but don't worry man as much as these gacha games fail there's one bigger failure than any of these gacha games. And that's the people who play them. Like me. See y'all in the next one. Oh, God.